What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Skyrim. Last time we started the search for Serana's mother, and today we're going to speak with her. Or try and find her, at least. What's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. Okay, so you might be wondering why she was already in this room before... We started. Well, I'll explain that in a second. What exactly are we looking for, though, Serana? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Okay. Oh, we can actually have her recruited. But, uh, so the problem is, she wasn't spawned here for me. She was just missing. So what I did was, I did... Can I get a better... Better thing of this? Can I see it better in a little bit? Here we go. So I did P-R-I-D space 03. Now 03 is the place that Dragonborn is in my... No, oh, not Dragonborn. That Dawnguard is in my load order. And then I did 002B74, which is her uh, her reference ID, I believe. And then what I did was, I, after I clicked enter, I typed move to space player. And that moved her to me. So if you guys are ever missing anyone, that's how you find someone. Now, there's usually... If you guys look up, like, reference... IDs, it will say XX and then their thing. The XX, like I said, is the place that that person related to their ESM or ESP is in the mod order. So, for instance, she's from Dawnguard. Dawnguard is 3 in my mod order, so I typed in 03. If she was from Skyrim, that's number 1 in my mod load order, so that'd be 01, I believe, unless Skyrim 00, but I don't think so. I think it's 01, so that's how that works. Had to do a little bit of console magic to get her to show up, but that's good that I know how to do that now. Maybe I can fix Ulfric with that. If only I knew how to do that before. <laughs> Instead of spawning in a completely new Ulfric. So, let's see. This looks like our bookshelf. Anything? No. Anything over here? Actually, I did find her journal, and I can't see it now. Oh, there it is. Thought maybe I accidentally took it before. 27th of the last seed. Harkin's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again. I forgot. She's a, she's a woman. She's a womanly voice. I've warned him time and time again about his foolish, prop, foolish prophecy. Would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to so much as listen to a word I say. I've become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. The 28th of Lost Seed. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul Karn properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident with the proper formula it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters have proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance, whether I ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm not to escape hard Harkin's clutches, I need... Oh, if I am to escape Harkin's clutches, I need to, find, to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here, forever if need be. Third of Hearthfire. I've done it! After wasting thousands of gold coin on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I am combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and follow me into the stone card. The soul Karn. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salt, soul gem shards, using proper measurements, place above in the silver line portal vessel, and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul Karn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Serana, she's in the soul con, whatever that is. Uh, I found your mother notes. You did? Let me see them. There you go. What is the soul card that she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Cairn, whatever. Why did she care to be why did she care where used souls went? The soul cairn is home to very powerful cairn. beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. If she made it there, we'll find her. 
That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of port. Oh, definitely. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. Yeah, we have it. What do we need? A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Ah, oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. You share her blood. Hmm, not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Are all the ingredients here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. Alright, we need to get purified void salts. I don't know if I picked those up already. I was kind of looking around when I was trying to fix our bugged, you know, issues. There are the soul shards. Okay, I accidentally took some fragments. I don't need fragments, but whatever. I'll drop those at another time. We also need, I'll take the fire salts because we can sell those. We need, let's see. Purified void salts. Hmm. Purified, purified. What else do we need? Purified void salts and... What was the last thing? Shit. Well, there's void salts. Is that good enough? Wait, I just saw it. Purified void salts. Alright, looks like they're all in these little big bowls. These little big bowls. Good, good fucking job, Jono. These little big bowls. Okay. I'm looking for the bowls, I guess. They're all in a specific kind of bowl. Makes it a little bit easier to spot, but maybe this one isn't. What was the last one? Spider egg? Looks like a brain. Uh, no, no, no. Frost salts? What was the last one, damn it? Bone meal, that's right, yeah. And this one is definitely going to be in a jar. Right here? Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and put these in the vessel. Wait, what's the vessel? Is that up here? Ah, Okay. I don't know what's going on with that, but there we go. Serana, you ready? Then the rest is up to me. Indeed it is. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Sure. Okay, here goes. <laughs> Just fuck it, let's wing it. Yeah, that's a lot of blood there. Ancestors. Incredible. This is awesome! You ready? Huh? No? Okay, I'll go alone then. Goodbye! Into the soul cairn, not carn. Cairn. That's such a weird word to say, like cairn, and like the, the I and the N in there, mmm, it just, it's so weird. Cairn. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. And welcome to Bloodborne, everybody! I hope you enjoyed Skyrim! <laughs> oh my fucking god, this place is awesome. Smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. Hey, they can't help it, they're dead people! Excuse me, sir. I need directions? I must return to the frontline Alessian headquarters. Alessian. Lives are hanging in the balance. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about that, dude. Well, ma'am, sorry. Well, no, girls can be dudes too. I don't care. I don't judge. I always, I, I always, I, dude, I call everyone dude. I call my girlfriend dude. Everyone dude. Just dude. Everyone's just dude. There's no gender in that. It's just dude. Hey, dude. What's up, dude? Some stuff in there, but I can't get to it. All right. Well, let's go. Can I, what does this place look like with Khajiit Vision? Actually, really cool. Very, very high in contrast, though. I don't know if I like that. Might turn that off. Get out while you can. Uh, well... Oh, yeah, I'm the only one here who's actually, well, I was about to say human, but... Not really human, am I? Where'd you come from? Hello! Bone men! Ah! How are you doing today? Not very good, apparently. Is that it? Come on, come on. Turn that, uh, little compass off there. Make this a little bit more... Engaging, as you will. What's this? Ooh! Hey, come on, man! Don't block this. What's that? It's a page. What is this? Ooh! Oh, 
shit, this is like the middle of the story. Quickly stifled by the sound of over a hundred wings rising from the Foyota was an entire colony of cliff racers, and they were out for blood. The blasted thing had led me right into their nest and sacrificed itself with the intent of feeding me to its brood. It was a trap. The damned things had become too much clever. Wow, much too clever. Knowing this was likely the end, I jumped down from the slit strider and hit the back of its leg with the penis. It was a silt strider, not a slit strider. That sounds weird. I actually loot these guys. I didn't know that. Can I fucking have lesser soul gem? You know what? Sorry. Sorry. So I should name Serana next time. Hopefully I'll remember to name her because she is seeming like a permanent companion and plus I can actually hire her. So, good chance Serana will be staying. Whoa, look at this place. I about to say, wow, this is a weird bug, but, uh, oh, it is a bug, isn't it? No, it's not. It, it, there's probably a lever that we have to pull to push that down. Either that or it's a really fucking weird bug. I think it, no, well, it has collisions, so I don't know. I don't see what would bug this area out. I don't know, this is all bugged out. What the fuck's going on here? Am I supposed to be able to get up there then? I don't even know. I think they're just supposed to lead right there. I'm not supposed to go up to the second level. There's nothing up there. Yeah, I think this is some... Maybe we they're supposed to be raised like this, but I feel like if they are supposed to be raised like this, there's some texture conflictions. I don't think they're supposed to be raised like that, though. Pretty sure it's just a bug, but whatever. It's not like a huge bug or anything like that. I want to get out of the bow and arrow guy right there. Come on, dude. Come on. Keep coming. Come on, sir. Keep firing that bow of yours. See what happens, sir. Shit, I missed. Uh, I missed. Run. I'm out of stamina. Heal. Serana's fighting something. I don't know what it is, though. Come on, what can you do, Bone Men? You can do nothing to me, for I am Dragonborn, Khajiit, Warrior, Father. But I don't know about it yet, so don't tell me. Don't worry. Together. I don't, I don't know what I'm fucking saying anymore. Just die, motherfuckers, with my iron arrows. You're done. There you go. Next is you, sir. Sir, put the bow down. We can live. Shit. Ooh. Had to get a little bit of a weak one in there, but hey, I still got him. Ooh, Daedric arrows. Holy shit. Really? Nice arrows. Don't know what they're fighting about, but uh, I can't really get back over there. No, I can, but it's going to be weird. Where exactly are we going in here? Just to find Serana's mom? Or what is this? Chest of something. Daedric hearts. Soul gem. Tracking what I called a lingerer. A cliff racer without a nest. He was a particular... You know what? I'm just going to read all these once I get everything. If I get them all. If I don't get them all, then I'm not going to read them. Because what the fuck's the point of reading, like, something... Oh, God, I'm getting hurt. Holy shit, that was... Wow, that was really painful. What's the point of reading the middle of a story that doesn't make sense? You know, I should just get all however many pages there are. So far, I know there's at least six, but there could be more. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is a bug. Don't... I have no fucking idea what kind of... What the hell? Uh-oh. What? Uh... What? I'm sorry, what? What kind of bug does this? Like, what kind of bug actually makes... The stairs move. Like, this is obviously a confliction. At least now I know how to get past it, like that. But that's obviously a confliction with something, right? I don't understand what is causing it, though. I have no idea where in my mods there could be an issue that causes something like that. And holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Damn, son. You are angry. Holy shit. Fuck, there he is. There we go. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. 
Hey, oi! Hey, oi! Hey! No more. I... You yield? I'm sorry, you're dead. So wait, if this is where souls go when they're used, I'm capturing their souls, by the way, so they're just gonna end up back here again. But, like, what if I wasn't capturing their souls? Where they? I guess they just die. This is where captured souls go. So if they wouldn't... If I wouldn't capture their souls, they, their souls just go away. I guess. That castle looks important all the way out there. Yeah, we're locating... Valericia. I think that's how you say her name. I'm not really sure. Holy fucking shit. Look at this! Look at this! This is awesome. Can I ride you? Hey, bud. Hey! Hey! Hey, buddy. Hey! Hey, buddy! You're fucking awesome! Maybe my horse? Huh? No? Okay. You stay alive there. Oh, and lightning everywhere, too. Let's go in here and see what this is. Cool if I can get one of those horses. Hello. Morven Stroud. Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. What's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. Uh. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? Yep. So that's how you got here. You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. Can I have your horse? I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. Now people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Cool, can I have your horse? Anything left? Very funny. Can I have your horse? And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. There must be something you won. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Fair enough. What do you have? Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. I don't have 25 husks. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. I guess so. I would honestly really, really like... Ooh, page 10. Holy shit, there's a lot of pages. I would really, 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 really like that horse. So I'm going to see if we can get 25 husks. I'm curious what he has, so let me just see what one looks like. Is that a husk? That kind of looks like it's going to be a husk. Yup. Two husks. Okay. So 25 of those. So what? We could probably have to find at least 12 of them. Because we get two. We'll have to find 13 of them because we get two each. Unless we get three from some of them. I don't even know. This one's one. That one is two. Yeah, I guess it's kind of it, one to two. Maybe three sometimes. I haven't seen three, but maybe. Alright, so we just have to get soul husks. I can do that. Cool. Really hope we can get his horse, though. Really, really hoping. Maybe he'll want more for the horse, but I don't know. I want to try and get it. I'm coming for you. No, I'm not. Never mind. Shit. Can't get in there. Look around for those husks. Look around for those husks. There's one over here. Two over here. Maybe three. One. Oh, yeah, there are three here. I was just saying maybe three, but no, there literally was. Ah, look at them all. Look at them all. So many husks. What's up here? Hello? Oh, oh, hello. Stay in there. Stay in there. No, with the bow. Holy shit on a shit stained shingle, fucker. I don't even know what the fuck I just said, but I almost died there. Holy hell. Okay, no. No, this is a big fucking no. Yeah, this is a huge no. Can I just get the fuck out of here, please? Oh! 
that magic out of my face. I'm dead. There's no fucking way. God, heal, run! I'm. S what? What? What the fuck was that? Oh, come on, man. Oh, I had full. I had half stamina. And I was stuck on something, and there was nothing there. Guys, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Are you joking? <sighs> fuck. Whatever. We're not gonna get anything this time. Not really. I'm just gonna rush through. Screw it. Screw it. At least we know where we're going. We're not going in there. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll come back and get all the pages eventually. I don't even know if we're gonna get all the pages, honestly. I don't really care. I'm gonna grab as many soul husks on the way as I can get, but, uh... Yeah, we're not fighting anything. Fuck that. Dude, I really wish there were some... See... Ugh, just... The problem is, I can't quick save with Skyrim, because... Quick saving is the most buggy thing in Bethesda games, and I don't want to take another chance of corrupting any saves, so... Just, that's really frustrating, something like this happens, though. And you can't have that one, you know, one-click full save button, because even that, that, like, that conflicts with too many scripts, because it just... It, when you pause, it pauses scripts. When you save like that, it just tears through them, basically. At least that's how I see it. They'll just rip right through your scripts, and they'll just start damaging them. That's how I see it. I don't know if it's true, but that's how I look at it. Ooh, look at this guy. Look at this cocky mofo. Hey. No one ever this is page one. There is no game. I'm sorry, were you actually talking to me? I'm really not giving a shit. Uh buddy, buddy, buddy. Yoink. Alright, back over. Let's see, how many husks do I have? Do I have enough? 36, plenty. Wow, 36. What do they do? Their food? Interrupts the soul drain effect in soul cairn. Resist 10% of magic for 10 seconds. The soul drain effect. What? What's the soul drain effect exactly? I don't even know what that is. Sir, I'll give you 36 husks for that awesome horse he is, sir. Oi. Yeah, I gotta skip through this again. Okay, yep, 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 yep. And what ex I'll the only bring me say odds and tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. You have the house. Light armor. Well, I hate to see it go, but what am I going to do with it here anyway? Ew, light bra ew, hide bra ew. Ew. I mean I could sell them, but ew. You're not worth it. I want your horse. I want your fucking horse, man. Damn it. There's gotta be a way to get that horse. What do I get from these? Soul. Oh, these are just these give me souls. My soul gems, I guess. There's gotta be a way to get that horse. There's gotta be a way. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll have an undead horse that's on fire. Cause that sounds fucking awesome. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that she's up here, because this looks like the place that I would go to <laughs> if I was, uh, living in a place where souls go to die. This place looks fucking awesome. This whole place looks amazing, but damn, this one looks really cool. Got some guards on the walls, or not guards, uh, I mean, force fields. Hello? Whoa! Hi! This is your mother. Hello? Serana? Hold on. There's Serana fighting? Serana? She didn't want to see her mom. I knew this would happen. She never wants to see her mom. Serana? Where the fuck is she? I might have to do the... There you go. God. Hey! Can't get in there. Mother? Mother? Mother. Can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. That's How an evil looking hair say? lady. We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. 
You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't. You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how is it huh? come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? She's pretty hot, so you know. I've been keeping her safe. Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here, for the eldest girl. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volgahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. Well, I want that. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Hey, how does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molik Ball. Hey, my mace! Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molik Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Um, the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means the killer? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I would never allow that to happen. I love... No, I don't. And how exactly We're a good person, do you though. plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? Uh, I'll kill Harkin, duh. If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? And Serana's opinion on this? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. No. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Not really. Serana believes in me, why won't you? Serana, this stranger, may call himself a vampire, but he knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to him? But I make him human this and talk to them. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. Dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Yeah. If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. Yeah. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. Yeah. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Yeah, what the fuck? Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Don't look at me. Look at her. But in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I'll kill her. My hatred what? of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Give me. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. I'm gonna bang your daughter. For Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. What do you need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. Uh -huh. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled. Uh huh. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. 
All right, bye. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernavir roaming the can. Dernavir. Be wary of him. Yeah, and the dragonborn. I hunt the dragons. The masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Well, I am the dragonborn, so you know. Okay. Bye. Be careful. Alright, so summary what she said. Go to tall buildings, kill bosses, then kill big boss, then succeed and get treasure. Hallelujah! Let's do this next time! Because I think I'm going to end today's adventure here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!